All right, and we are live with Doom Eternal, uh, Doom Eternal's DLC, The Ancient Gods Part 2. So, this should be fun. Welcome to Doom Eternal. I've already played Doom Eternal. This is, a, this is actually a new little intro pop-up. It's kind of interesting they put this out there, probably because so many people are having, uh, I guess, I don't know, so many people, but people uh, seem to be unable to read tutorials that the game blatantly makes you walk through. Uh, but here's what it says. To become an unstoppable demon slaying machine of pure destruction, you will need to master the use of your full arsenal. Uh, God forbid you use the tools given to you. <laughs> people are just like, I want to run through with a shotgun and just not adapt because they want to keep the game stale for whatever reason. That, that's on you as a player, I'm sorry. Uh, each death has something to teach you about Doom Eternal's combat loop. Every new enemy type encourages you to use it more of your kit. When in doubt, consult the Codex for more information on weapons, demon weaknesses, and upgrades. Good luck, and remember, above all else, never stop moving. You know what, I'm going to screen cap that because I find it hilarious that they even need that in the game. I, I legitimately do. I wouldn't even say that's like in the same vein as like... Um, is Dark Souls discourse because there's already difficulty modifiers. And s oh, I can't print screen from that, but it is in video, so I can just go back and get that frame. So that's fine. Let me just leave a note to myself before we get started to do that because I really don't want to forget to do that. Let's see Doom Eternal Frame. I'll just set that for like. 10 p.m. or so before I go to bed. Alright, with that being said, let's just jump into the actual game. Using a controller. No, we're on the DLC, right? Yeah, Ancient Gods 2, new slots. I wonder if that pop up would show for the. No, it's like specifically showing for the DLC. Um, normally I would play on Ultra Violence, but this is my first time doing it. We're on stream, and um, the DLC at Danger Gods Part One was pretty freaking insane. So, on normal we go for now. You can always change that later. The war against evil continued as the Slayer resurrected the Dark Lord himself and enacted defiance against the Makers. Leaving the heavens in ruins, the Slayer must now survive the treacherous journey to Imora, the capital city of Hell, to face the Dark Lord in ritual combat. <laughs> they have like a pre-negotiated fucking terms of terms and conditions of combat. If the Slayer is victorious, any demons outside of Hell would be destroyed and all connections to the Dark Realm would be severed. If he loses, the Dark Lord and his armies will rule all. Spoiler alert, I can probably tell you what's going to happen. So this is picking up directly off the end of the Ancient Gods Part 1. Where the Dark Lord is literally the dark version of you. <laughs> Hey, Justin. This is Doom Eternal, baby. Our time will come. If you survive, I will be waiting for you at the city of Emola. This is a very beautiful looking place. And it's probably gonna be filled immediately with fucking demon blood and gore. Let's see. Doom Eternal Master, you now have all the tools you need to succeed in Doom Eternal. Glory kill, da da blah blah, I know all that. I forget how freaking 
high by default the sensitivity is. Does this not carry over from the regular game? Their own mouse. Bring that. Uh, bring you down to like half. Whoa. That is way too freaking high still. Okay, that's probably for me fucking with this. Let's not fuck with that. We have a couple different DPI settings already set up on my... Um, set up on my mouse, but... I feel like I'm getting the range I necessarily need. Okay, fuck it, let's just... Put it back to default, I guess. Or no, because I was still on the lowest, that's why. Okay, back to 30. Okay, we're good. Did not keep my bindings though. I don't know why the DLC is doing that separate. That is ever so slightly annoying. Here we go. I like to have my. Oh, they even added some stuff for the flame belt and the uh, fuel on screen. That is useful information. Although they didn't seem to do it for the grenade, which is a little odd. They would. Yep, and I got all of my guns. Let's see if there's any challenges. Nope, just the kind of like meta ones for the rest of the game. I like the multiplayer and whatnot. Could use some more armor though. Uh, da da da. I believe that marker is new. Do you have see like these markers on near the reticule are cool, but I'm just not used to it. Um, do I jump up there? I don't think I can make that though. Yeah, I can't make that jump. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to climb down here. Sorry, I haven't played Doom Eternal in a quick minute since I was writing the essay. I have forgotten shit. Um. tutorial oh meat hook grapples see this is probably like the one thing I wanted from the base campaign was to be able to use the meat hook for more than just latching on enemies so this is perfect you can give yourself momentum to go around corners hell yeah Find double jump dash and additional grapple points in the air. Complete traversal challenges. Oh, I fucking love this. This is gonna be so cool in the middle of combat, holy shit. I'm good on resources for now. Oh, I don't have any of my mods set up. How do you swap mods again? X, G, T, I think it's R. No, that's a fucking belch shit. 
There's the wrong mod. Shit. I'm in the middle of battle. I don't remember how to do shit. Uh, how do you switch equipment? Weapon mod. No. Change weapon. Swap weapon mod is F. Okay. Now I know. Oh, wait. Not that weapon. Wrong thing. Again. Okay, Arbalist. There we go. My playing's a little rough around the edges, but that's okay. Screecher Zombie. Screecher Zombie is a fragile enemy who will temporarily buffs all demons in the arena when killed. Okay, so save. Them for last. Punch you. Oops. Yep, so all we have to do is not kill you, and then you're fine. Shit. Um. Stop blocking me off. I don't want to kill you. There we go. Let's see if I've if I've missed anything. I don't believe so. Hello, dog. Let's double check and I haven't missed anything. You gonna? Okay. Oh, this other thing from the first DLC. Buff totem nearby. Uh, let's see. There you go. I should start using these glory punches, blood punches, whatever. I forgot how frickin' fast these guys are. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, good placement on that grenade, at least for one. Shit. Some blood punches. There you are, buddy. Weak point on the armored. Oh, fucking armored barons are a thing now. Um, you know what? Just so I don't forget, uh, let's gonna make a quick little notepad. What is that? Purple buff demons. Uh, da da da. Armor demons. I, for I already forgot what the other thing was. I'm gonna have to go back and listen and make sure I f don't forget shit. I uh, use a plasma rifle. Armor burn can only be killed after his armor has been destroyed, okay? Use a plasma rifle to slowly break and destroy his armor over time. Shoot his mace, the weak point, when the flash is green to destroy it instantly. Armor will eventually regenerate. 
Okay, um, let's opt for... There we go. Easy. No recharging for you. Shit. Damn, it actually comes back pretty freaking fast. Let's do... I know. Get some more ammo. What the fuck? better off sticking with shit. Come on. We have this, why don't we just... There we go. There we go, got some blood punches going. I probably shouldn't have wasted that. Okay, there's more. Let's swap mods. And... Shit. Dude, <laughs> so many, holy shit. So many! Why are there so many? Jesus Christ. There's a fucking army of imps. That opens that up, which is ex yeah, over there. Can I not use it anymore? Definitely start using the assault rifle to start farming uh, blood punches, though. That would be wise. Oh, I'm supposed to do platforming, apparently. You're dead. 
Um, that is a hammer icon. I assume we're gonna be getting a hammer quite soon. That's uh, oh. oh. Thanks for the lift, pal. Oh, let's, um, do this. He's already good. It is you. Shit. The whiplash is fucking deadly. But farming. Someone coming? Yeah, that was a wolf hell. I forget. Oh, this is a good time for the BFG. There's something coming from right there. No. Nope. Oh, regenerating uh, explosives. I was about to say, demons fucking coming in. Um, that's about it. How do I get to you, Wolfie? I believe there is a platforming thing here. It does not want me to grab it. Or whatever. Reason. Huh. Odd. Um, did I just totally miss an explanation for why that would not be active? No, 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 do not kill. Damn it. Smash. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, so now it wants to work. Seems very arbitrary in-universe, but for the purposes of the game, makes complete sense. Is it just over here? Right? Oh my god, I fucking love this. Oh shit, um, do this real quick. Let's go swing on that and swing on the other thing. Okay, um, Uh, 
Oh, I fucking love this thing so much. Oh, that's what I forgot to put down in my notes. The hook platforming. Just want to make sure I have, like, talking points to uh, talk about on the podcast. Right, let's farm some of these guys. I don't think that does damage to me. Which is good, because all I'm trying to do is take these guys out individually. I don't want the, them getting buffed. Well, there's... Oh! Oh, god damn it. That was a mean trick. Oh, I am a totally about to fucking die. That was such a fucked up trick. I got a little too cocky. Great reuse of that little... They're very economical with their arenas, using up the same spaces. Oh. Power Demon, um... I need to get some more shit, actually. Okay, let's isolate. One, two, three. Got two more blood punches. One, two. Actually, I need to farm you. Gotta have more. Oh wait! Got Jubal! Damage! Let me get to it! I'm detecting an energy signature from I probably should have grabbed that from the beginning. <laughs> oh, the uh, marine dude's still talking to us from the, uh, from the first DLC. I am constantly forgetting to use my flame belt. I the really need to fix that. Has been lifted. And I atone for my sins. Destroy the weak point. Use a sentinel hammer to daze and demons and refill your ammo. Hammer demons and groups to maximize resources dropped. To fill its meter, destroy weak points and glory kill demons. That I can do. Oh, destroy the weak point. <laughs> nice sound effect for doing that. Glory kill the demon. Press V to daze nearby demons and refill your ammo with a sentinel hammer. Nice, just yet another way to gain frickin' ammunition. In addition to giving ammo, the sentinel ammo can also boost the effects of your equipment. Combo the sentinel armor with ice bomb to boost health drops. Boost the sentinel hammer with flame belts to boost armor drops. Okay. Put that down the notes too. Sentinel hammer. Ice for health. Flame for armor. Very useful. Okay, so let's do that. And then burn something. Nice. Okay. Um. Oh, I filled my stuff up. Oh yeah, I forgot about the fucking spirit. Okay.
burn all of them. Let's just get out of the way. Ah, uh, shit. Oops, wrong fucking team. <laughs> Trying to swap weapons, not dig my inventory. Or go through my map. Hard to talk when shit's killing you this fast. Because you have the stupid fucking thing in you. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, shit. Ghostbusters time. There we go. There we go. Oh, shit. Um. Let's do that. Freeze. Then. Punch, punch, shoot. Rockets. Okay, um... I need ammo. Quite badly. I need to farm you for ammo. Where did they go? Uh, hi, Gaming Quantum. Yes, this game is beyond freaking intense. It is a whole. Oh, shit. Plenty of ammo now. There shouldn't be too much left. Ooh. And that is a hammer charge. So as long as I'm attacking weak points and doing glory kills, that should be coming back, but it's kind of hard not to kill mob enemies without just like outright killing them because the entire arsenal's pretty uh, maxed out. Oh, thank you. I'd like to think I'm doing okay. I was doing pretty bad at the beginning because I haven't played. Um, I haven't played Doom at, le at least on the with a mouse and keyboard in a, in a hot minute. The Stone Imp is resistant to most weapons and vulnerable to the full. S it's vulnerable to the combat shotgun full auto mod and the Sentinel hammer. Kill it with a full auto to gain bonus shotgun. Okay, let me make a note of that. Uh, stone ants. Acquire full auto or hammer. Oh, hey, Chris, I didn't know that was you. Forgot that was your uh, username. It's good to hear from me, man. Alright. Uh, do I move any slower? Hopefully. A little bit. Yeah, they, they definitely move slower, so at least that's my saving grace at the moment. Shit. It's a good thing we have plenty of stuff that we can farm. And grenades don't do anything against them. Does the freeze work? Yes, it does. And, uh, fortunately enough for me, they do drop shotgun ammo. Make a note of that real quick. They drop shotgun ammo. Just usually whenever I know I'm going to be talking about a game on the podcast on Sundays, I'll just frequently stop and just make quick tiny little notes. That way I can slap them into, um... 
I can slap them just into the documents. I can, uh, just, what's the word? Elaborate on them later. Yeah, sure. Need both dashes. See, so you gotta say, dude, I'm taking notes, sitting here watching you for like that whole fight. I'm doing awesome at this, and I stream, find it so hard to talk and stay engaging. It's definitely hard. It it depends on the game for sure. I know, I know there's sometimes you're like very like super high intense uh, moments. I'm just like I, I gotta shut my mouth because otherwise I'm gonna die. Ironically, it's mostly like Mario games for me. Mario games are seemingly my weakness in that regard. But yeah, you can get in the, into like a tight little zen state with Doom, oddly. I have no idea what this means for the context of the story. What I recall from the teaser for this, um, for this DLC, it's basically teasing like in an all-out like Avengers um, Endgame like final fight where like all the forces just gonna meet on a battlefield and charge at each other so this should be pretty cool oh no thanks for checking out the podcast appreciate that it's uh definitely been an extremely good way to keep my sanity during uh this entire pandemic lockdown situation plus i get scheduled time to talk to my friends which is always nice Man, this game is fucking wild. I'll be entirely surprised if the Doom guy does not kill this thing the second he gets off of it. It seems you're not the only one who wants this mission accomplished. If you defeat the Dark Lord, any demon outside of Hell would be destroyed. Damn, he didn't kill it. He resisted the urge, even though I'm pretty sure that's some kind of demon, even if it's like an angelic kind. All right, level two, I suppose. Uh, my hammer's already charged. No need to pick up this other charge, I guess. Oh shit! Invisible pinky. Shit. There we go. Let's see if I can get it. It is really hard to see them against the snow. One. Come on, two. Put them on fire. <laughs> that should help the uh, invisibility issue. One grenade. Two. Oh no, those are stone fucking um, imps. We'll chain these together since they drop shotgun ammo. Please you. Uh, shoot. Should probably use my hammer. Okay, let's use it. Uh, swap that. Wrong enemy, but oh, that works. Oh, fuck, forgot about you. Um, 
you swap mods. Wait for him to do his charge. Come on, buddy. Freeze him. There we go. That's everyone. Uh, how long am I streaming for? I'm going to, uh, honestly, uh, usually I only stream for about two hours, two, three hours at any for any given stream, but I've been looking forward to this for quite some time, so I'm probably just going to be streaming for the entirety of the night. But I hope you have a good workout, man. Good to uh, stay fit, especially nowadays. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go over there. Now we can use that charge. That is not even a one up, that's a two up. I guess I kind of ignored this thing. Yeah, man, I, I need to go back to the gym personally. I've been, um, I've just kind of been doing push ups, sit ups at, at home, and then, uh, Riding my bike and then doing archery, so decent amount, but nothing beats the gym. Gonna be able to go back for that two up though. Uh, yeah, it looks like I might be able to. Shoot, that guy's over there. Yeah, surprisingly, archery, like, aside from your, um, your, your biceps from having to pull back the bow, depending on how heavy it is. Like, I use a recurve. I don't use a compound, which kind of does a decent amount of the work for you. Um, recurve definitely requires more, uh, upper body strength. But, uh, it also works out your back muscles, strangely, too. Which is... Yeah, definitely a Reeker. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. I do want to get a compound at some point because you can be so much more accurate that it shoots faster, it shoots um, with more strength. But I, I, I learned on Reeker, so I have a soft spot for it. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Okay, now I need to go do that all over again. Um, but yeah, my friend that got me into it had me start on a recurve because that's what he prefers, but... I gotta shill out a good 300, 400 for, like, a decent compound. You can go, like, super crazy. Like, people at the range, they have, um... They have these insane setups where they have, like, balancers that you attach on the other side of the bow to, um... To get like better aiming, like so. If your bow's right here, it's just like a giant stick sticking outward. I've I've never used it, but apparently it works. Uh, damn! I mess it up again. All right, man. I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, archery is a really fun hobby. I'd recommend. Basically, everyone go try it out, and it's actually it's it's actually a really good hobby to have nowadays. If there's an archery range near you, or just if you live like in a isolated like woodsy area, because even the ones that I go to, they're up like in the Oakland Hills. Um, it's, oh, up in the Oakland Hills, like in the wooded area, they have these entire courses, so you can't use the practice range at the moment. Hey, I'm not even gonna bother. Fuck it. Um, and again, I do kind of need it. <laughs> I am so stubborn for my own damn good. There we go. But so yeah, you can't use a practice range where it's just like all the, um, what's the word? It's just the different targets lined up just because that's, that's too close, like standing next to each other. But there's like courses just strewn out throughout the woods that you go to, just like it's like mini golf. They they have courses for it.
Oh, shoot. Oh, it's giving me blood punches, so. Might as well use them. <laughs> so many ifs. What the fuck? Come on, buddy. Oh, shoot. I need. Where these other. I don't think I. Shit, I ran out. One. Two. One. Two. There we go. Um, you know what? I forgot. I don't know if I have the runes that I like. I don't care, care about doing Goy kills faster. Um, this. Yep. Aside from that, I think I'm good. Blood Punch deals double damage when your health is 75 or less. You break blast. Okay, I totally forgot about that. You know, for everything that this DLC is tutorializing, I would have imagined they would have at least give a little hint. Um, like, hey, you should you can still customize because you... It did tell me I have everything, but those additional runes and stuff um, were a thing in the first DLC. Granted, like, all the other ones were in the base game, but once you set them, you're good. You don't really change between them. Escalation encounters. Escalation encounters are encounters with two waves of increasing difficulty. Only the second wave is optional. Being the first wave gives a sentinel hammer upgrade. Being the second wave gives a cosmetic. I really don't care about cosmetics, but I do like killing demons, so... We gonna do it. We gonna do all of them. There we go. Hell yeah. The flashes are freaking slippery. Okay, I need ammo. I have barely been using my chainsaw just because, I don't know, I guess I just enjoy swapping between weapons. I am not recent. Kind of circle around this place. Um, swap to you. Oh, shoot. There are a lot of you. Definitely running out of ammo, though. A lot of blood punches. I need to start flaming. Uh, really running low on ammo. demon around somewhere? <laughs> Popped up right in front of me. Uh, interacting with the second Gorness triggers an even more difficult encounter that is for high skilled slayers only. The encounter is optional but beating it awards a cosmetic. If you fail you can try again. I really don't care about cosmetics. 
But I do love Doom Combat. And Demon's hit by the Sentinel Hammer Slam will now drop more ammo. Cool. Fuck it. He's doing it anyway. Okay, uh, swap to you. Alright, we need to get some distance. So many bars to like micromanage, but I fucking love it because once you master it, you're in like an in Zen mode. One. Constantly restoring these. Doesn't even seem that much tougher to be honest. One. Very drowning. Shoot. Is there a buff total? Oh no, there's a fucking arch file. This motherfucker right here. There we go. No more buff guys. Something. There we go. Another one of you assholes. There we go. Okay, now I see why this encounter is supposed to be hard. enemies. Shit. Whatever. Watch that. Let's 
see if I can just keep doing that. Farm. Big ol' farming opportunity here. Shit. Let's do some hit and run tactics. Shit. I am just constantly missing. There we go. I think that's the majority of it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was intense. Make a note of that also. Optional cosmetic challenge. Oh, let's post that at Twitter. I think I need just need a quick little mental break from that because that was uh Holy shit, this is so fucking intense, it's insane. Alright, dude. Put a little crying emoji to show just how fucking it Um, twitch.tv slash the set. Okay. All right, back to the game. Quick little breather. Holy shit. It's over there. Oh shit, wrong. Okay. Well, I like I took too much damage from that anyway. Sentinel Hammer. Use the Sentinel Hammer on the Marauder and Armored Baron to extend their vulnerability windows. Sentinel Hammer also destroys all blue energy shields. Probably won't waste all the energy shields or... No, actually that could be useful. But extending that stun duration for both the uh, Armored Baron and the Marauder is going to be so extremely useful. And um, let's, put, let's put that down. Sentinel Hammers increases stuns Marauder and Armored Baron. They're making a lot of changes to like the fundamental gameplay loop. It's pretty awesome. Hey, buddy. Shit. Wrong mod. Just dodge. There we go. Hammer. There we go. Come on. There we go. Got him with one charge. Now we're just gonna farm you. Oh, sh Oh yeah, these turret things are just from uh, the first DLC. You gotta shoot them super quick, otherwise the eye disappears. Um, let's just... Actually, no. What? Fuck it. One. Two. Wow, this... Oh, because they were empowered. Duh. I was about to say, they, these guys are taking super freaking long to die. Grenades. Uh, 
Gotta swing around. Something gonna spawn up here? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. The blood maker. Gotta shoot him in the head while they're vulnerable. That I can do. No issue with that. Um just gonna avoid the rest of these guys for the time being. Let's focus on the big ones. Grenades. Grenades do the fucking work for me. There we go. We're doing a blood punch just too. Find me. Uh, should be able to use that at some point. Oh shit. Hey, tentacle dude. Oh shit. One, two, another one. Are you still alive? Oh, he's still one down here. Oh shit. I, I, w I would say the, the Doom Slayer slash Doom guy is pretty damn worthy. <laughs> A lot of giant demon carcasses. Got a little smudge on my mind. That is a big portal. Give us a Dark Souls fight against the frickin' uh, what's the ice dragon's name? Seath. Seath the Scaleless, I believe. I've only I've only played and beat Dark Souls one once. I went totally backwards with that series. Was, I did Bloodborne, Dark Souls three. You know, Bloodborne, Dark Souls two, Dark Souls three. No, that's not even right. Cause I did play Demon Souls and Dark Soul. I played them in chronological, but I, I, when I finished, it was Bloodborne two, three. One, Sekiro, and I have Demon Souls. It's just sitting on my freaking bookshelf. I haven't touched it yet. Not in the mood for it at the moment. <laughs> Gotta wait to be in the mood. This is unlike anything we've ever encountered. Not even Erdak gave off readings like this. Level three. I'm surprised I have not 
freaking died in this yet. That is, uh, I'm quite proud of that. I don't know how hard this thing is supposed to be. Not even supposed to. I can see how freaking hard it is. It's just. Do I punch that? Or... Yeah, you gotta shoot it. I'm gonna wait for it to go back up, though. There you go. And this makes me move a little bit slower. This. Why is that even lift though? The gate. I'm just gonna wait for it to come back up. Whenever it comes to stuff like that, I want to see what it affects. That way, it can kind of plot my course. So I do have to punch it. There we go. I don't think I'm missing. This is not a crystal, it's a ship. Looks like a fucking crystal to me. Your shit looks like a crystal to me. Okay, that wasn't so much a combat world as much as an exploration one. Nice platforming though. I don't really like big old walking sections in games, I would at least like to do something like platforming I think at least um, stuff like Uncharted has at least gotten that part mostly right like too much action can be a bad thing if it's not properly paced out and this game does that expertly just by placing like even just small little platforming segments in between you have the key to the gate of Devon. I will mark its location this is the only way into the most ancient part of hell. The Dark Lord will be there waiting for you. Why can't he come to us? Well, I guess we don't want him to come to us because, you know, Earth and whatnot, but... Here's a page, codex, whatever. I typically just kind of... I mean, depends on the game. Like, Resident Evil stuff, I'll read lore, like, on the spot, but obviously streaming, and then this game's mostly action, so... I'll come back and read that in the second playthrough to get a bit more appreciation. Cursed Prowler. If you're hit by the Cursed Prowler, you become cursed. You will take damage over time and unable to dash or target the Cursed Prowler with lock on weapon. When cursed, blood punch the Cursed Prowler, you kill it and remove the effects. Go to that. Prowler. Moves. Ability. Dash. And what else? Lock on weapons. The blood punch. So that, because this thing teleports all over the place. So. I mean, can I just kill it out, right? It's teleporting all over the place, so that means it's going to be really hard to blood punch it. Hard to do. Exclamation points. All right. Um. Guess that's. So let's not even let it hit us. And it hit us. <laughs> Shit. Okay. okay. Yeah. She. It. Okay. I need to make a note of that. Nothing else does damage. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be such a fucking fight. Let me blood. There we go. I hit. There we go. 
and there's one of you. Right. I want to baby these guys so I can farm them. See, there's a make sure life over there. Hiding neatly around the corner. Yeah, I don't think I've died or lost an extra life yet. Oh, hey, Roman. We are ripping and tearing all day. Caution. Doomslayer sighting confirmed. Please save and exit your workspaces. Something around here? Oh, just a deep plot of land. I, do, I just don't like prowlers in general, man. These aren't even the first ones, but still. Uh, Arbalist is freaking Jesus status for taking care of uh, Pack of Demons. And uh, Pain Elementals. I always get, I always just want to call them like Super Pack of Demons, but that's not what they're called. I don't want to mess with you. Oh shit. Oh, landed a headshot with that though. I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> There's one right behind me, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, don't fall off the edge. Okay, um, sign these grenades. Well, let's see. Let's take them out. There we go. Shit. I need to get some ammo. Rockets. All right, relatively calm, so let's find these. Here's this guy. Who we're gonna farm for blood functions. One, two. You have a confession to make. You play Doom Eternal in the easiest mode so you can feel more badass. You know what? There's nothing wrong with that, especially since Doom Eternal is so much harder than Doom 2016. Like, I feel like a lot of the common narrative for Eternal was, or even 2016 also, people played 2016 on hard because that felt right. It's very hard to play hard on a, on Eternal. It's So Doom 2016 on hard is Doom Eternal's normal. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think in a weird way, a lot of games play better on easy. Like, I play all the Call of Duty campaigns on easy because I don't care about the difficulty curve in there. So I just want to feel like a badass in Call of Duty games. You're just running around shooting dudes and explosions and whatnot. So easy is the way to go for Call of Duty for me. 
And uh, yeah, the combat loop in this game is so beautiful. Like, I've been kind of in a bit of a gaming slump in terms of like, eh, I'm not really excited for too much on the horizon and um, just kind of playing some games just because it's a hobby to do. But damn, every time I boot this game up, I am just so fucking pumped. They added so much in this DLC, too. It's actually going to be weird going back to the base campaign and even uh, part one of the DLC. Um, just because we won't have that stuff. Like these guys, we got stone freaking imps. You can only use uh, the auto shoddy. But they give you more ammo every time you uh, kill them. I don't really use a shield on the Gatling gun. Oh yeah, it definitely wasn't you. It's definitely a pretty widespread thing with Eternal work. Yes, it is definitely just harder than 2016. And um, I've played this multiple times across like all the platforms. I would say the controller is pretty dang good for Eternal. Like I don't think it's like a bad way to play the game. And in a, in a weird way, even the menus and stuff, they operate a lot smoother for the controller than they do mouse and keyboard. It's just more optimized. And even the, the game director, uh, Hugo Martin, uh, his preferred way to play the game, uh, even whether he's on PC or Xbox, he likes to use the Elite controller with the paddles. So, makes sense that the game feels good to play with the controller. But having the mouse being able to just like spin around like this left and right is... Definitely doesn't hurt your chances of survival. Do you think someone else was asking me like if they could play as a controller? I'm just like, yeah, totally fun. In a weird way, it might even be the more zen experience where you're able to like maybe sit back and rationalize everything going on versus being able to zip. So it even has its advantage in that regard. Here, I guess. Oh, is there a map I, down there I missed? Yeah, I did. Yeah, the aim assist in here is like just on point, too. It, it doesn't snap. Like, I think the only two things in here that like snap to target are the um, other grin. That's not the grenade launcher, or the uh, grenade launcher on the um, on the combat shotgun, and then the uh, I forget the precision bolt on here. There's only those are the only things that snap. Everything else is like the aim assist is just right. It's not enough to baby you, and it's not um, so restored. little that you're kind of you lost. Should be able to continue towards the gate now. Oh, that is electrified. Riot Soldier... Oh, what the hell? Riot Soldier's indestructible shield absorbs all frontal damage. Shoot their shield... Shoot behind their shield to destroy them. Make a note of that. Riot... Shield... Vulnerable... Fronts. Alright, so, no choice but to flank. Oh, you know what? The, uh, this mod's gonna be very useful. You can time it to go exactly behind them. Oh, shoot, we need to do that. There we go. Uh, you can get another blood punch. Put that here. Actually, quick note of that for my notes. Just because I want to be able to like remember all this stuff for the podcast. I uh, use remote that's an eight. Because man, I wasn't expecting like, aside from them announcing that this was dropping this week, um, I didn't pay too much attention to it because I wanted to go, go 
basically uh, experience this raw I don't want to know anything. And damn, they are introducing so much more stuff than I thought they would. It's insane. Have to get up there, but... There's a health pack right here. Nothing else. There's like this other platform thing here. Okay. It's not. Yeah, mental notes for this is definitely going to be a lifesaver. I feel like, uh, I know Demon Souls, I'm like super lagging on playing it. I've had the PS5 since like literal launch day, but I have not, I've, I've opened the plastic on the box. I think, actually, you know what? I actually installed it on my PS5 the other day, just so like it's ready to go. But I'm just not in the mindset to play it yet, but I'm going to be going through some guides beforehand, making notes on exactly what I got to do at certain points. Oh okay, shit. Um, let's combo you. Um, oh, you got stuck. Um, stone Imp's got to use the full auto. Oh shit, Dagobeeman. Oh, let's punch you. I do like the frickin' ballista. Very reliable gun. Does about the same damage as a uh, super shotgun shot. Low rate of fire, though. Blood punches should work on these. No, they don't. Ah, oh, there's a fucking marauder. Let's get this guy out of the way. Don't worry about him. And remember, note to self, we gotta daze the marauder. Okay, there's too much going on to focus on just the marauder. Take care of the marauder. I need better ammo for the Marauder. That's for damn sure. Okay, shotgun. There we go. Let's put the ammo on him. There we go. He only needed to do it one more time. Not one more. Only had to do it the one time. This freaking hammer is doing the work. Alright, so part one of that encounter done. Demons hit by the sentinel hammer slam while on fire will drop more armor, and if frozen, will drop more health. Nice. And I don't even want the cosmetic, but we are going to do the second part. Yeah, because you have to do that freaking uh, stun rotation like three, four times or something like that. But having that extended uh, stun helps so much. Yeah, it's a really nice combat shakeup, especially from the, the base game and the first DLC, but... Second encounter time. Oop. There we go. Let's get rid of your turret. Wrong gun. Or wrong mod. Right gun. Wrong, it's still the wrong mod. Just going. There we go. Two. Not 
too much yet. The harder waves are probably definitely going to be popping in pretty soon. Shit. Got some punches. There is a bad bot. Fuck, what's the word? Archvile. Archvile's. There you are, buddy. Let's see if I can punch you. That didn't work. Ah, oh, fucking. Come here, come here. I need a blood punch. Oh, this is so bad. This is so freaking bad. There. Damn it. Okay, this sucks. I was about to say, I need you need a blood punch in order to kill those first prowlers, and that just really screwed me over in that moment. Where did it go? There you are. Hey buddy. Oh, you are possessed. I don't want to use that. I could have picked a better demon than just a regular, uh, oh my, no. One, good, good. There we go. Now swap to this. Do some Ghostbusters. Shit. Shit. Oh, damn. Damn it. Oh. Come on, do some quick talk. Oh damn. Let's get that one. Oh, shit. Damn, let me get that. I don't have a hammer charge. Half of one. Now I got one. Shit. I am stuck. <laughs> Bad dog. Come on, buddy. No. Got him in two, dude. There we go. Probably shouldn't be using the ballista so casually, but all right, beat it. Got a cosmetic that I will never use. <laughs> I'm gonna use the restroom real quick before we get another big battle. I will be. Right back.
All right. And we are back. Yo. There we go. Attention to maintenance team. Please report to Gate of the Boom Operations Center. These guys out. Right. Why are there so many? Um, that's all the mods. Don't really care for the Ghostbusters Ray. I should have just spammed it in that encounter, but oh well. Let's see if I can. Oh, it actually worked. I don't want to jump down. No, I do want to jump down. Okay. Secrets down here, right? Oh, I want to say I poured a lot of damage in you. How are you not dead? There's a possessed one right around. I cannot shoot your backside. Don't stop moving. There we go. Having a little easier time with the uh, spirits this time around. It was because I already. Because you already know how to deal with them beforehand, but they definitely seem like more of a pain in the ass than the uh, first DLC. Mostly stick into the precision bolt for the uh, mob enemies just because it's uh, easier to dispose of them and it, it doesn't use that much bullets actually. Seems a little antithetical to the core game design, but a nice shakeup. Plus, it's the deviation, it's not the rule. be there for a reason. It's not just there. I'm gonna activate some kind of boost if I hit a switch around. Attention. Power there we go. For city subsection. Honestly, I didn't really use a precision bolt until the um, until the DLC. It, it makes it a lot more mandatory with um, those eyeball turrets 
and um, the eyeball turrets and what else? The uh, the makers, when if you headshot them with a precision bolt, it gives you a crap ton of resources. Uh, so I kind of switched to that specifically. So the DLC like kind of specifically broke me out of just using the micro missiles mod. So I definitely appreciate it a lot more. Damn it, wrong. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice change of pace from just like usual tactics. It's not like super. Um, it's not super viable to use all the time, especially with like imps running around and up in your face and whatnot. Uh, wrong mod. There you go. Uh, get some AOE's damage going. Oh shit. Speaking of using the precision bolts, here's another enemy. There we go. Wood flash. There's a parry system in this game, I would totally do it. Oh, don't push me down. Shit. Plus, the gameplay just doesn't get stale because the game's constantly requiring you to shake things up. Better than just, like, Super Shaka and 24-7. Shit, I use that too early. Let me see if I can beat this guy. Shit. Are we... Okay, we're, we're jumping down the hole. I want to see what's in the hole. Nope. Just got me with that guy. Guess that's that encounter. Whoops. Forgot about you. Yeah, every encounter really does push you to use like every tool um, within your arsenal. And especially like all the constantly changing variables, like different demon combinations, really make you flex on that. Uh, plus the movement required and resource management. Yeah, it's everything blends together so freaking well. I was listening to um, a MinMax podcast uh, over at work before um, we got home to play this. And, like, even though I like all the podcast group, they kind of seem like the most tempered on it overall. They weren't like super crazy for it. But even they were like, yeah, there is nothing like Doom Eternal on the market whatsoever. Like, it's an old, old school uh, method of game design that no one else on the market's doing. And it's just such a freaking refreshment from. All the um, all the third-person shooters, all the cover shooters, all the regular first-person shooters. It is entirely unique in that regard. And it's weird because I consider myself like a gigantic freaking Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal fan. Like I liked the original Doom games. I didn't grow up on them. That was before my time because I was born in '94. Like, I kind of went back and played them. I thought Doom 1... I probably preferred Doom 1 over Doom 2 just because of the levels. 
Um, I think we're probably a little tighter back then. Come on, let's go to this guy. But was, yeah, it was never like a series I like super loved until Doom 2016. I have mixed feelings on Doom 3. Like it's a decent enough time. It's the least Doom it, Doom game. But not a big fan of that game's like overall design. Got a secret though. Oh, I already have full. I am so bad about using BFG ammo. I thought it gave you three shots though. Here's the Unmaker, which I never use. Maybe I should be a little bit less uh, conservative with my BFG ammo. Oh no, dude, I do not want to reach your plot. I did not. Okay, maybe I did shoot it. I missed. Oh, I am so fucked. Let's just phase everybody and everything, please. There we go. That's what I was kind of hoping from Doom 3 is that it would like super lean into the survival horror. Cause like as is, it's mostly just like, yeah, the lighting in it is still like super crazy awesome, but it's mainly just dark hallways uh, and imp will pop up around the corner and they're not even necessarily scary. I do really like the Hell Knight design and the, um, the uh, Lost Soul design, like the little floating heads, I really like that. I even prefer that over the uh, Doom 2016 Doom Eternal take on it. The uh, screaming faces and whatnot. But it's weird because like there's such a mark on the series for being like this survival horror, or just being like a this horror game. Even though Doom 3 is the only one that even like semi leaned into it. That's still like a lot of people's perception. Wonder how much that's changed though with uh, Eternal being such like a resounding success. Plus you always just constantly have way too much ammo in Doom 3 for it to be like super scary. It's, d it's way more action than horror. I wouldn't even consider it horror myself. If I was like eight, I'd probably be semi scared of it, I guess. One, two, three. Oh, I do not want to get caught by you. Stop blocking my shots. Can you at least block the enemies from attacking me? It's always so good with where it places those two, it's insane. There we go. Any bigger enemies? Blood punches. Gotta use these. Are there any bigger enemies, though? I don't think so. I would like to keep two in stock.
just keep spawning mob enemies. Is there a... Oh, there you are. You can't jump over here. Get our Ghostbusters. Go, go. Good. Wrong mod. I had the right one in the first place. There we go. And there's an arch file. That sucks. One, two. He's hiding in a tiny little corner. Yeah, Doom 3's strengths were definitely a part in Atmosphere. I think... How many times have I... I think I've beaten it twice. Once on the 360 is like the BFG edition, and then... Once on the PC original version. Which apparently there's some lighting differences between the two, where the original still has a better lighting system for whatever reason. Like, even aside from the flashlight, um... And you originally needed to actually hold it like as its own weapon, where the BFG you can just kind of toggle it whenever you want. They will not allow the city to be overtaken. Like you, they will fight to the end. I'm curious as to how many levels are actually this uh, DLC. But it says the final battle has begun, so I'm guessing that's hitting like, hey, nudgy nudge, this is the last level. Let's just get into it. There's the Dark Lord. Getting a big old mech suit, you can't face me just out of it, I guess. That is a BJ Blaskovich person if I've ever seen one. If he's as strong as me, you shouldn't need a freaking mech suit. So fucking cool, though. So many demons. Yeah, he's a freaking poser. Get out of that mech suit. This is totally Avengers. This is super freaking Avengers. I vaguely know who that dude is. Oh, they're bringing out the fucking big ass mechs too. Music's so fucking good too. Alright, I I gotta put that down. This is, in, all, in all caps, I'm gonna put this in my notes. This is totally fucking Avengers Endgame. Hype as shit. Awesome music. 
Let me save these notes. Yeah, it's hilariously the same as Endgame. And it nails it too. Combat. Any demon outside his realm will be destroyed. These are kind of like regular enemies, so I don't need to do too much. Good. Um. I think I was about to play the Cultist Bass song. Could be wrong. Probably get more. You guys still has time for these, apparently. We gotta fight a big old boss, but. Gotta fight the Dark Lord, but we got time for optional challenges. Oh shit. Shit. Uh. I just want to pop the pinata. Oh, this is pure chaos. <laughs> oh, I love that slow down. Fucking um, Doom Hunter. Plenty of blood punches. Let's just use them. Everything about this game so much. Good. You'll need to get over those walls to continue the assault. Thank you, intern. Escalation counter one of two. Demons hit by the Sentinel Hammer Slam will be days for a longer duration. Nice. 
round two. <laughs> Once again, don't care about the cosmetic. But I love the core gameplay loop. I'll use any excuse to just keep fighting demons. Got some blood punches going off the bat. Yep, blood swamps. Oh, I wasted those. Damn it. Oh, there's entirely too much shit going on. Let's get this con maker out of the way. Oh, you fucking dickhead blocking my shot. There we go. He's out of the way, so that won't happen again. There's another one. Damn it. I can't do shit. They keep blocking my freaking shots. There's so much shit going on. Oh, you know what? They're not going to stop spawning. So I just need to hurry up and... Use the BFG, because there's an ammo right here. And you're not fucking dead? There we go. I love how the music just screaming rip and tear. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. Um. Come on, dude. Swing it. One, two. And you get this weak point shot. That way I can get the days going. Damn it. Let's get somewhere that isn't on fire, maybe. Here you go. Hey, buddy. There we go. Uh, that shot did not work. Oh, damn it. Here we go, combo. One, two. I got knocked out of bounds for a second. I just don't want to deal with those freaking curse enemies. I don't like them. <laughs> Man, this probably looks so freaking cool as a montage. Uh, and there's another one. Over right here, get more ammo. Nice. Um, so you think you got the 
Doom Accord is cosmetic and never bought it. Oh, I forgot about that. The Doom Accord. <laughs> uh, so fucking. That was, I, I remember that. I wish I was more into cosmetic stuff. Usually if it's like a first person shooter too, I won't bother. Unless it's like a gun skin, because then you're at, it's like literally in your face seeing it all the time. And uh, hey, Cory, I am pew pewing some demons real good. Many pew pews are being had. Hey, bot and chat, you're getting banned. Sorry, buddy. Yep. Bye bye. The patience for Back to the game. I really need to make some more mods. <laughs> Shit. Uh, let's take away your turret. Land a shot. Oh. oh, I thought that was a five plus. So. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Ramen Nomad. You have yourself a great night, okay? Thanks for hanging out. So you got a hammer. Oh, those things are totally fighting in the background. Oh shit. They are totally going at it. This is super freaking Avengers right here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I didn't know that. The uh, official 25th anniversary of Resident Evil is Monday. Fingers crossed for more info or even the village demo. I am so ready for that. You and me, Corey? You're, you're a May baby? We're getting, uh... We're, we're getting Resident Evil in our birth month. And... Wait, no, does Godzilla come out in May? It may be March. I don't know. I'm bad with dates. But I am so ready for Resident Evil news. I'm just so ready to play the damn game. I'll probably be streaming that day one if the PC version isn't totally screwed. Godzilla's March 31st. I will not be watching that in theaters. I have my vaccine shot tomorrow, but don't care. Not, not going to theaters until... Everything's all good. There we go, got rid of your turret, so you are a mutant. Oh shit. Um paint elemental out of the way, because you can do a lot of damage. I oh trust me, Cory, I am thirsty for Resident Evil. Gotta get some of that tall lady action. <laughs> oh, I am so good. 
Alright, wrong thingy. It's kind of crazy now that spring and summer is going to be like such a hotbed for games because it's traditionally not for like usually the sum the entirety of summer is just such a dry spell for games because all the companies want to just release stuff like all in freaking uh holiday season like november through december but glad to see that changing especially now that people inside and people will buy games it doesn't matter what freaking time of the year it is if it's done just put it out Shots each. Okay. One, two. Damn, these things are freaking vicious, the possessed ones. Oh shit. Uh, wagon, wagon. There we go. I no, I was about to say I did not just run out of it. <laughs> Heisenberg is looking mighty tasty. I'm probably missing out on the reference. My mind went straight for uh, Breaking Bad. I don't know if I'd call Walter White a snack. <laughs> he can cook, just not food. Mostly meth. He also possesses the power to toss pizzas on roofs. There we go. The guy with a hammer and telepathy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Doom guy using himself no as live idea. ammo as always. It must have been centralized here, like some kind of ruling elite. Intern's not talking as much as he was. Dead. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Intern's not talking as much here as he was in um, the first DLC. He's a pretty funny dude in the first one. Like, totally nerding out over the Doom Guy. He, he straight up calls him Doom Guy. He doesn't call him the Slayer or anything like that. Oh, these are regular soldiers? You guys are worthless. You guys die with, like, nothing. Uh, Deathloop, yes, absolutely. I am a hundred percent, a million percent in love with, um, with Arcane Studios. Um, I love the Dishonored series, I love Prey, they have my absolute faith in basically everything they do, so. Hell yeah, I'm down for whatever they put out. Let's see, I gotta dodge the lasers. Yeah, that's supposed to be a PS5 exclusive. I believe it's also coming to a PC, though. I imagine after a year, it'll be coming to Xbox. Honestly, I don't even know too much aside from it. Aside from that, um... I know that much about it. Aside from, um... That first, uh, gameplay trailer they did. I saw it was Arcane. I'm like, yep, I'm good. Don't need to know more. I'm gonna go in blind. Shit. Okay. Um, let's grab this. Oh no, I can not afford to hit that buff demon. Come on. There's two fucking marauders. God 
they did the fucking thing again. Here we go. Okay. One's dead. That's good. Give me, buddy. Ouch. Fucking buff demon. Get out of the way. I don't want to shoot you. For once, I wish not to kill a demon. Get out of the way. <laughs> I don't want to shoot you. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there was a lot of Square Enix news. I was kind of eyeing some of it when I was at work, and I kind of just pasted like some summary articles for me to look over. Um, I'm gonna be looking over it tomorrow night, looking at the trailers, do a quick little write up. Uh, mostly, it looks like. Um, it was that one RPG that's supposed to be exclusive to Sony that got a new name, Apothecy, I believe. I totally wrong. Right. Something with an A. And then uh, Life is Strange uh, True Colors, which, uh, with all the unfortunate events going on recently in the real world, uh, that pro having an uh, Asian protagonist seems like an extremely great idea. Fuck yeah. I'm actually... I think I'm towards the end of episode one of Tell Me Why. Wait. I haven't played in a couple days, but yeah, Tell Me Why is probably by far my favorite um, Don't Nod game, and I really love Life is Strange too. So I'm gonna. I am on an extreme high for Don't Nod at the moment. I don't even know why these base enemies are trying. They they totally exist purely for um for you just to wipe away without even a thought. Oh, I missed a thingy. Yeah, life is strange games and I I g I don't know if people still refer to them as like telltale light games, because they just follow like that same format. But those games are absolutely a million percent up my alley. I love adventure games like that. Not so much the old adventure games where you have to like go around clicking on every little pixel on the screen to find like the obscure key, but like the uh, walking talking games. Big fan. This guy is shooting me from hell far away. Right here, let's use this. There we go. Now you can stop shooting me. <laughs> this is a big arena, though. Oh, there you are, buddy. Yeah, Don't Nod's been on a freaking roll ever since uh, Life is Strange 1. I think that came out... When did Life is Strange 1 come out? Started rolling out like 2015, maybe? And then they did... Before the Storm... Uh, Captain Spirit, Life is Strange 2... And then tell me why. Yeah, they've made a lot within this. Like, they're a smallish studio, um, if I recall correctly. Oh shit, let's. Uh, come on. One. Oh, only needed one. Oh wait, that was them? Um, they made Vampire? I didn't know that was them. Um, that's crazy. I always meant to get around to playing it, just uh... 
It's my ever evolving backlog. It always uh, got the short shaft, I guess. I work with a lot of other studios. Is that mostly just like lending people to like program, or is that just like code of, or is it like also like co development? That's cool though. That honestly gives me a giant incentive to play Vampire, purely because I really like Don't Nod as a studio. I like, um, I, like one, I think the work they do is freaking great. They make amazing games. And then, um, I think they are making good social progress. Um, I don't know if you've played Tell Me Why yet, but it's by far the best representation of uh, trans people I've ever seen in, um, Def definitely video games and probably like, video games for damn sure but even just media in general is one of the best representations out there it's it should definitely be applauded your charge thingy there we go oh no I don't want to I'm trying to kill this guy damn it uh, oops. Dodge. There we go. I'm sorry, Cory. My memory is shit. <laughs> uh, my bad. Yeah, um... That's what, like, the current game I'm playing, even though I made the mistake of getting back in a WoW, I shouldn't have. That set my backlog back so fucking far. <laughs> um, I need to focus on, uh, tell me why. Freaking Sarah kept talking about WoW. I'm just like, nope, don't need it in my life right now. But it's a SpongeBob meme all over again, just like, I need it. Um, let's see. What? Wrong mod. I had the right one the first time. Okay, so this is where I... The other side. Check the map. Um... Need to be up there, apparently. Yeah, only on episode one. I believe it's three episodes. It's shorter than uh, Life is Strange 2. Open, please. <laughs> oh, I love you for that, Corey. Okay, no, I have to go over here, I guess. I think this is prepping me. This looks like a pretty uh, definitive portal to the last fight. And there's another door. And guess this is not the last fight, because the bad guy literally just dipped. Where's that tyrant at? Where you go? There you are, buddy. We're gonna fuck your day up. Shoot. Okay, I need I need a dash. Where there you are. I need you to stop cursing me because I am taking damage and it's not great. Come here. Where is it? I'm gonna die if I don't freaking get to this. And I can't dash. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I don't have a freaking... Okay. I need to farm you. There we go. Nope, hit the wrong target. But 
Didn't get the uh, tyrant. There we go. Not sure if I'm necessarily a fan of the cursed prowler. It definitely forces you to adapt, but an exercise maybe leaves a little bit of be desired. Oh shit. Come on, get out of there. Oh shit. <laughs> Waiting for me right up top of the uh, portal. Lift. Portal lift. There's entirely too many enemies. Damn it. Let's get to a good position with this. And then we'll use it. Try to knock me off the fucking edge. Okay. And it didn't even die from that. Blood punches. There we go. Ghostbusters time. Wrong mod. There we go. Oh shit. You are not vulnerable yet. Uh, there he's. Plan action. Pick out everything but that at the moment. Where is that cyber demon? Let's get that out of the way. There we go. Alright. Now, let's worry about you. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Anyone else? Last one. It's one way to stay secure. <laughs> oh, I love the super shotgun so much. God, I fucking love this game. Note to self. Uh, let's mark that time code. I'm gonna put that up as a GIF on Twitter. What was that two six zero? That was so fucking. And okay, this definitely screams final boss battle because. This is giving me so much shotgun ammo, this is fucking ridiculous. Um... Oh! It wants me to use a lot of shotgun. But it's giving me enemies you can only kill with a combat shotgun. Now I understand.
I gotta say, if this is gonna be like the final boss door, um, you'd imagine to be like all kinds of ammo, just not one type. You're approaching the Dark Lord Sanctum. I'm starting to lose my connection though. Doomslayer, sir. I won't be able to. It's just so crazy to me because so many other games would just be content with adding more levels and said this is like changing so much about the core gameplay loop. I'm just going to make a note. Just be happy with adding more levels that fundamentally changes the game. Ooh. Should be nearing the end. <laughs> or that's the end of that level. Siege the day is the name of the achievement, not Seize the Day. Level's called the Dark Lord, so I would imagine this is a level where we fight the Dark Lord. <laughs> I'll press space. He's got the sword. Dark Lord, dealing damage. Counter the Dark Lord when his eyes flash green to daze him. Use a Sentinel Hammer to extend the daze effect. Well, in sword range, moving close but not too close, increase the frequency of sword attacks and green eye flashes. Summon so wolves will drop Sentinel Hammer arm ammo when killed. So basically, a Marauder fight. It's also very explicit, so you don't get confused. How do I beat this boss? It's telling you how to do it. Swing at me. He's got like five health bars too, what the shit? Come on. Oh shit, he can heal himself? Ah, damn it, it's too freaking late. Um... Dog. Here, I need to... Get some more, um, hammer shit going. The most of these openings, I guess. Turn 
one more. The Sentinel Hammer kills all summoned demons instantly. Summoned wolves will drop hammer ammo when killed. Glory killing zombies will also charge the hammer. Very explicit what it wants you to do. Still have to do the same strategy though. Come on, buddy. Oh, shit. Come on. Is he not gonna... Is it... Yeah. Do I have to just, like, use the hammer? Or is he gonna swing? There we go. Shit. Don't heal yourself. Telegraphs its attacks pretty clear. Get out of the frickin' suit, we'll see how this goes for you, pal. have two more health bars. Oh, it's frickin' what? Summoning Hell Knights? What the shit? Shit. Damn it. Damn it. I 
she's giving him more freaking health. More shotgun ammo. Come on. I panicked. I shouldn't have used that, but I did. Damn it. I did it in the wrong order. I fucked up. Damn it, back at square one. One, two, three. I need to stay close. Damn it, I don't have a charge. Alright, stay close. You're all fake, you're not real. <laughs> You're lasting a while, though. Alright, now I'm ready. One, two, three, four. That's my shot. Keep doing this for a quick second. Come on. 
Damn it. my progress because it keeps healing so gotta quit pussy footing it gotta just there we go and then swap to this there we go okay that didn't do as much as a uh, shotgun Let's just focus on you and fuck everyone else, basically. Okay. Can't say fuck it to these guys. These guys gotta go. Doom guy just took off his helmet. What the fuck? Tell me, have you nothing to say to your creator before you strike him down? <laughs> no. He spoke. He finally said something. It's, this wasn't like a flashback. All the demons are going away. Let Doom Guy be in Wolfenstein 3. Oh, is he dying too? Oh. Bye bye, Doom Guy. Oh, are they sealing him up again? It's just like Doom 2016.
Only to be awoken at some later point, I guess. The blood on your sword never dried. May we never need you again. The demons are gonna come back. There's gonna be a fucking Doom Eternal sequel. And I can't wait for it. Oh, that's... That's a beautiful dedication right there to uh, Bethesda's founder. Man, I have a lot of notes set aside from this. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to go back and update um, my existing Doom design article. I'll probably set these notes aside just for whatever reason. But definitely going to be talking about this on um, on uh, Sunday's podcast. Because this was a hell of a time. And just damn, it's so fucking good. Holy shit. Damn. I, I can't wait to see what they do next. Let's go, go through that. Whew. This apparently gives you stuff for a multiplayer, but I don't really care about the multiplayer to be quite honest. Single player is, is where it's at for me, especially for Doom. Yeah, that was uh, the Ancient Gods too. That was everything I wanted it to be and more. It exceeded every single fucking expectation I could have possibly had. Um, looking forward to the continued future of Doom, because goddamn. Um, thanks everyone for hanging out. I think everyone here already kind of knows the drill. Like, comment, subscribe on all the socials. Best place to keep up to date with me is on Twitter. Uh, Game Session Podcast is filmed live here on Twitch uh, it's at, on Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. You can later find out podcast services as well as on YouTube as both full episodes and individually cut up segments for easier digestion. I stream here on Twitch kind of whenever I feel like it. Uh, pay attention to my Twitch schedule slash you'll kind of see me posting and teasing stuff whenever I'm on Twitter. Um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we are very close to making an affiliate. Big shout out to Patreons. To Patreon. Patrons, to patrons, uh, Sly and Ramen Nomad. Um, and also, thank you, Corey, for hanging out. Um, I will see you guys later. <laughs>